Hi, today I'm going to show you an advanced shadow technique called a cast shadow. Now a cast shadow emanates from the foot of the character, like when you're standing outside in the sun. Now this type of shadow takes some preparation, as you'll have to create the character animations in advance. So let me show you how that's done. The first thing we're going to do is bring in a character. Let's bring in Susie here. We'll bring her onto the screen. And I'm going to give her some animation. So we have to know what the animation will be in advance. So that way when we create the shadow, it will follow the same motions. So first of all, let's say we're going to have her waving. And then I'll add an action. And she'll give us a thumbs up. And let's add one more and she'll be presenting. So when we play it, this is what she's going to look like. First of all, we're going to create the shadow. So let's go over to the Advanced tab and to Shadow. We're going to keep the blur at zero and we're going to make the offset a little bit off here, but we actually want it way away from her. So I'm going to actually put here a thousand. The reason for this is we're going to save a video with only the shadow. So in this case, we actually want Susie off the screen. And I'm going to make the shadow as dark as possible. So back to advanced, we're going to color, and we're going to do full black on white here. Great. So that's the preparation, and what we're going to do now is save the video. Okay, and now we're going to publish it. Choose our destination, and we will call this Cast Shadow. Save, and publish. We're going to bring this video back onto the canvas and manipulate it. Great. Okay, so let's bring Susie back onto the screen here and let's get rid of this shadow. So let's put this back to zero. Let's go to Media and we'll import a file here, the cache shadow that we just did, the MP4. Open it up and bring it onto the screen. There it is, and you can see it's black with a white background. But what we're going to do is take this video, again go to Advanced, and remove color. Right here is Remove Color. We're going to enable that to On, and we're going to use the Color Picker and pick the background of white. Now you'll see that the shadow is transparent has a transparent background, but if I overlay this, you'll see there's still a little bit of white along the edges. So let's use the threshold and get rid of that as much as we need to right about there. So now we have a black shadow, and if I play them both together, you'll see that it does exactly what Susie's doing. So here's where the magic happens. First of all, let's bring this shadow behind Susie, as you can see here. We'll lighten her up, reducing the opacity by quite a bit. And now I can manipulate this. So we're going to bring it down. And then we're going to go back to Advanced. And we're going to go to Skew, which basically tilts whatever you skew. So we're going to take this and skew it off to the side with the X skew and bring it just to where her feet are. So now when we play, her shadow is doing everything that she is. Let's now bring in a background right here. Now we're going to bring that to the bottom. Okay, let's position Susie and make her just a little bit smaller here. We can bring the shadow in like this. You can see it's actually going up on the log a little bit, but let's just bring that down to us a little bit more like that. Make sure it's aligned to the bottom of her feet. And now, when Susie waves and does her thumb up and presents, you can see her cast shadow in the background. And that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and happy animating! <laughs>